Bye. Welcome to Game Bite. This episode of Game Bite is brought to you by Jinx.com. To get 10% off of your entire shopping cart, use the promo code QUITSTALLING-366 at checkout. That's QUITSTALLING-366 if you want to cross-platform with your Minecraft shirts. Supersonic, Acrobatic, Rocket Power, Battle Cards, E3 updates want you getting some more gear. If you still want, if you're still waiting for Half-Life 3 so you want to get a Half-Life 2 shirt to show it, Head on over to Jinx.com and shop from a wide variety of gamer and geek swag. And don't forget to use the promo code QUITSTALLING-366 at checkout to get 10% off. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. It's Game Bite. It's Game Bite episode 20. I am Harold Sylvester, live from the Quit Stalling podcast studio. studio. Uh, it is... July 5th, in the year of our Lord 2017, and with me today, uh, as they are on pretty much all of the Game Bite episodes, uh, let's start off today with uh, Diego Z. Diego Zawaga, how you doing, brother? Gee willikers, guys, I'm so excited for today's show. How about you, Mick? How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing Lord. amazing. Gee golly whiz. Hi, everybody watching on the Facebooks. All right, we're not, we're never, ever doing that again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you're. <laughs> this is what happens when you're one hour show, late. Harold. When you're when you're one hour late and we you give us time what? to think. This the is show what is set to nine thirty p.m. At the and, at, oh, right. at best, yeah, I am five minutes late. At best, <laughs> fifteen minutes late. I like to point that out. Like, it's fine was, though. It's fine. I was fine. ready earlier. Someone didn't have his, his webcam up. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> all right it's all good it's all good all right guys i want to welcome you to the show that gets me more excited than a lucio dropping the beat with tourettes uh tourettes tourettes this is the show that's fueled by the maelstrom of hate and fury known as diego zulwaga uh this is game like yep. people and uh we, we got a good show for you tonight we have a great show for you tonight I like that we're uh, so excited because we're. I can feel that we were really bit in from our last show. Oh yeah, it took like thirty minutes. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what Which, happens when you when you when you have to do a show on Thursday night and you have exercise plan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but we did great though last week. I, I do want to say that if you guys uh, want to find out what we're talking about, this is our way of uh, baiting you to listen to last week's episode. So uh, go yep. <laughs> go ahead and check that out. It's um, on the Facebook. It's on, it's on the Facebook. Facebook. I think. Uh, it's it's gonna be on YouTube later. Uh, I so I've gone back and re-uploaded all the the videos that have copyrighted content. So if you guys haven't seen it, you're gonna start seeing it. Uh, same with the quit stalling geek cast. Oh, may, may I have just uh, may, perhaps I have uh, dropped a hint on what I finally named the other show. Uh, so Oops. yeah, check that Ooh, out. Allah. Uh, you can check that out on YouTube at bit.ly slash quit stalling YouTube. Uh, uh, the VODs are also going to be going up on Twitch because uh, we do that now, twitch.tv slash quit stalling. And if you're a podcast listener, uh, we're on SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash quit stalling, iTunes, Google Play Store, and anywhere you can get podcasts. So, guys, we're going to start off the show, as we always do, uh, by asking not just the folks at home. Actually, the folks at home, we're asking you this as well. Yes, that is uh, that is Bait Grand Isle. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're gonna ask you guys at home. Wh what have you been playing uh, since the last show? So, guys, let us know in the chat, Twitch, YouTube. Let us know what you've been playing. Uh, but I'm gonna start off with a. Uh, let's go with Mick. Mick, what have you been playing in the past week, man? Oh, me? Okay. Yeah, you. Uh, you handsome no, devil. Playing a lot of Ragnarok. A bit of hard stuff. Nice suit. Yeah, <laughs> yep, yep, Ragnarok, baby, yeah. And then we've been, uh, we re I recently bought a game on on a Steam. It's called Hollow Knight. It's an in, it's by Team Ooh. Cherry. It's a pretty good game. Uh, I just bought it a while ago, and 
I couldn't stop playing. I was playing for like two hours straight, and I kept oh, dying. Oh, nice! So. That's not that. That's no bueno, you know. That's, that's no bueno. It's no bueno. bueno. No uh, bueno. The achievements must have yeah. been bueno, right? Like I'm sure you got a couple of achieves. By, by, by I got like I got like two because I killed the first boss, and that's basically <laughs> everything that I've done in that game. That's it. That's it. That's, that's, that's it. pretty At good. Least, yeah. Can't complain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Kind of proud All of myself. Right. Yeah. All right. Uh, real quick, <laughs> uh, before I get to to my other co-host. Uh, uh, George in in the YouTube chat says he's been playing Minesweeper. Sweet. Uh, I too have dabbled in, in Minesweeper. So let me know how you how you doing, George, on Minesweeper. Uh, Minesweeper Grand Isle said fucking the hardest <laughs> one of the hardest games ever. <laughs> I know, right? I know, right? Definitely one for the hardcores. Uh, yeah. Try and speed run that stuff. Uh, but Grand Isle, really, really def in terms of yeah. skill, that is a hard game to beat. Like legit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, anything that, that involves make? math, I, I I personally just give up on it. <laughs> so, you know, you know me. I mean, yeah. like Hearthstone was like the closest thing I had to like doing math because it's basically addition and everything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh man, yeah. Uh, and you you only add like two, three, five at the most, right? Like... No, no, no. It's uh, you basically count how many cards you have and then you minus it and all that stupid bullshit. It's basically sequencing and all that. Stupid bullshit yeah. that they talk about on Twitch, but anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, Grand Isle in the chat says he's been playing Snack Pass. Uh, he streamed it and nobody yeah, watched. So, I think so I sorry to that. hear that. Uh, no, talking to yourself is great, dude. We started off, uh, me, Diego, and a couple of our friends last year. We started off just talking to ourselves, and look how far we've gotten. We've got all four of you watching us right now. <laughs> exactly. But just uh, do we have anyone on Facebook? Pass, not Snack Pass. You, because uh, you fell. You I fell for searching Snack Pass. Uh, but the things that came out was Snake. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, like a legit. Okay. It's like it's like a legit 3D version of the 3210 Nokia Snake game or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty <laughs> I'm just, I'm actually, I don't know. I'm just saying. Uh, it's on Steam. You guys can check it out. It's part of the sale. So yeah, maybe that's my why. computer is shit. That's all I play. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. Uh, all right, so uh, Mr. Maelstrom, uh, Furious. Yes. Uh, what, what have you been playing in the past week? Okay, past week. Oh my god, dude. I have not stopped playing Ragnarok for the past week. Holy wow, freaking shit. Dude. I can attest to that. Yes. <laughs> uh, and, like, I've, and I've been streaming it uh, consistently. And okay, here. When I when I played, when I used to stream the Salty Spadoon over it, you know, for Overwatch, like what? I got uh, maybe uh, 10 followers from, from that. Um, mm -hmm. But when I started streaming Ragnarok since the closed beta, I got, I jumped from 10 to 45. Just playing Ragnarok. <laughs> oh, look at, look at the followers on Frank. I, I am not. I am Man. not bragging. It's hard Rolling to do, guys. I no, know. and you know, you, how 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 soon? Uh, how recent did you start streaming on Twitch? You know, like you got to build a fan base. You know, that's kind of what we're telling Grand Isle. You know, like uh, it's not gonna happen overnight. Uh, some people do this for years before they're recognized. So you know, keep at it, man. Keep at it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And honestly, 45 is great, but it's not like the biggest number possible. But you know, it's something. It's just nice. Whoever watches, you know, the small interactions is, is what matters. Exactly, and that's 44 more people who can find out about your uh, zombie, uh, a love. zombie fetish. Yeah, if, if, yeah. Oh, oh! I, I was gonna say <laughs> that, but all right. You, you, all right, <clears> chat. Let us know what you think of Diego's that was zombie fetish. Kind of inappropriate, dude. Fuck. Well, you know, Diego. Just you do you, Ooh, Diego. Boy. You do you, man. Well, yeah, that's it. That's all I've been playing. Sweet. Oh, thanks for asking, Diego. So I've been playing some Overwatch. Very uh, You know, I really appreciate you, you, you know, taking the time and, and asking. Uh, so I, I've been playing some Overwatch. I've made the climb. Uh, so uh, I started off the season, you know, ranked 2026. Uh, and with, with, with minimal effort, I managed to lower myself down to the 1700s with minimal effort. <laughs> And, uh, that's not bad, dude. That's pretty hard to do. I know, right? Like all it took was it some levers. Takes a lot of skill for that. You know, some levers, some toxic people throwing. Yeah, that's all it took. And you know, I'm, I'm, I kind of good at it. You know, I'm just saying. Uh, but, but aside You're from that, you know, man, I'm, I, you. I made the climb. I am 40 points away. Oh no, I'm 20 points away from getting back to 2,000. So small achievement, but hey, that's not that bad. I mean, I'm like 69 points away. Hey yo. Oh, good stuff. We should play together. We should play together sometime. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I'm not touching it because I know it's just 69 points away. Ayo! <laughs> Ayo! Ayo! Alright. So. Get... 
You guys want to yeah, get uh, back in chat? We have some. We want to give us. Uh, we have Rim who actually played um, their other games this past week. Aside oh from yeah, Marvel, sure. Of course. It's okay, Diego. Yeah. It's not like I've played anything else. Yeah. So let's get back to chat. Uh, so. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Urim, Urim in the chat says he's been playing Long Dark, uh, some Bastion. And Bastion. Uh, I'm yeah. assuming that's not Bastion from Overwatch, but Bastion the game. And uh, he's yeah. also been playing Ragnarok online. So good stuff, Urim, man. Uh, get, getting the time in, you know, grinding it out. Uh, I have to ask her. I have to ask her. Like, what, again, what else have you been playing? No, nah, it's too late, man. It's too late. Uh, <laughs> no, stop. Nothing is ever too late. What have you been playing? <laughs> wait, I'm Nothing is ever too late. Nothing is oh, wait, wait, no, I'm this side. This side. Uh, nah, that's alright. That's right. That's right. That's, 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 that's what have you been is. playing, Harold? Oh, oh, thanks Harold. for asking, Mick. Thanks for asking, Mick. I really appreciate it. So, uh, I've, I may, I may be getting back into World of Warcraft, like I mentioned last week. Uh, but I've, I, I've continued to play some WWE 2K17 as a stress reliever, because then nothing see. relieves stress like throwing someone through a table uh, against True. their will. True. Uh, so it's been, it's been pretty awesome, whacking them with a steel chair, you know, all, all that stuff. Tables, ladders, chairs. Uh, so it, it, it's been pretty cool. Uh, I, I, honestly, you know, my, my life has been has been filled with editing videos in the past week. So and any respite I can get is, is much appreciated. Mm -hmm. I played a little bit of FIFA. Uh, I forgot that I created myself, and uh, my <laughs> FIFA self looks pretty much like myself. So it, it's hard not and to play someone as good looking. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, it, it's it's pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, it's pretty Vain. awesome, you know. Vain little boy. Play, playing for my adoptive hometown of Chicago, Illinois. Nice. <laughs> Wait, so you, I'm guessing you're a striker in that game. And oh yeah, man. You, you got to get the Definitely. ball or else it's useless. That game is boring if you don't have the ball. <laughs> yeah. If you're like if you're like you if you're like an if you're like a defender or mid, if you're the backs or you're in the mid. It's kind of get it kind of gets boring because you have to pass the ball and you're just moving back and forth and you're just waiting for the ball to come to you. Yeah, at least exactly. When you're a striker, you're just like, oh, good boy, oh boy, I don't, I'm not gonna pass. Fuck this, fuck these guys. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh, Urim yeah. in the chat is asking how <laughs> career mode is. So I played career mode in 2K16 when I got bored of uh of the normal you know one v one matches or two v two matches and all that uh, in the regular exhibition stuff. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing in 2K17, so once I've gotten sick of playing as AJ Styles and all that, that's when I'll make myself <laughs> and 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 start, you know, doing promos. But I hear it's really fun, because you can cut your own promos and choose how you do it. Uh, so I, I can't wait to get into that. I might stream that, who knows. Uh, but yeah, like, I'm looking forward to... I mean, I, I, I don't know how I'll dress myself this season, but you know. Dude, dude, you know, you know you're playing WWE, right? Why don't you make a wrestler of yourself? Make, exactly. Make, um, yeah. Make one. Make one. Um. Uh, name it Geraldo the Silverstein. Oh, dude. You. I might. Yeah, I might Aldo, just. It, I'm gonna make. It, I'm gonna make Geraldo, it the Silverstein. That, that, that might know, be the show title. You, you don't want to use Sylvester and you know. <laughs> the Silverstein. The Silverstein. Silverstein. It's like the closest thing. It's the closest thing to Sylvester. Unless if you guys <laughs> can. Trans unless if the chat can translate it to English, then. Maybe. Oh yeah. Great. True. Yeah. True that. Yeah. True that. All right. Uh, so everyone in chat, Facebook, YouTube, let us know what you've been playing in the past week, uh, and we'll, we'll get to it as the show goes on, but, uh, for the meantime, for the meantime, uh, I think it's time to get to the news, what do you guys think? You guys got anything else to say? Any shoutouts to give before we get to the news? Joey Jr., baby. Hmm. <laughs> How about you, Diego? Uh, any girlfriends you'd like to give a shout-out to and whatnot? Ooh, hoo, hoo. Ooh. Oh, yes, I'd like to give a shout-out to my love and love of my life. Uh, Cheska, yeah. tuning in via oh. Twitch, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Twitch or Facebook, what are the dudes? Love of my life, what the yeah. fuck? Mind is blown! <laughs> if, if you guys have been uh, paying attention over the past few weeks, you'll see how this has evolved. Uh, sh yeah. yeah. Uh, shout out to Bobby Australia uh, in Facebook. Big... Uh, Cal Soliano, uh, Wancho Saldana, more, more to come from Wancho. Uh, my Aunt Lolit, hey! Uh, Liz Escalona and uh, Derek O'Brien. Derek! Thank you so much for, for watching, you guys. Just say, say something in uh, say something in chat, you know. Say, say something in chat, so we know, yep. so we feel your presence, like uh, like the guys over on Twitch. Yep. All right. So uh, let's get to Twitch. the news. Let's get to the news. Do this. Yes. Oh, I oh. see. Good news, everyone. Oh no, that's not the one. That's wait. There. Wrong one. Okay, there wrong we go. One. There we go. Panic. The Panic. 
It's, it's the news. All right. All right, let's do this. So, uh, so, guys, what are we talking about on the news today? What are we talking about? What are we talking about? All right, so the first bit of news we got is uh, about the oh, SNES oh, Classic. Oh, sorry. Ah! <laughs> sorry. The first bit of news we got is for, is for the Super Nintendo <laughs> Entertainment System Classic Edition release. So, a, a little bit about it is that... Um, <clears throat> A few, last year they released the Famicom, if I'm not mistaken, and they released like how many games were that? A bunch of games. So um, af- what they're doing this year, um, 2017, uh, September 29, 2017, they are releasing a classic version of the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. It comes oh, with man. 21 classic e- SNES games. Memories. And I will, and just for your know-how, I will read each game out loud right now. Okay, so first right, we got yeah. a lot of classic games, like of course. Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, Super Metroid, Mario Kart, F Zero, Super Mario World. We got Street Fighter Two, uh, Punch Out, Castlevania Four. If I'm not mistaken, is that right? Castlevania Four, Donkey Kong Country, Mega Man X, Kirby's Superstar, Final Fantasy Three, uh, Kirby's Dream Course, the original Star Fox, uh, Yoshi's Island, Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. Contra 3, oh my god, they want to kill us with that oh, game. Good Secret good of god. Mana. <laughs> Secret of Mana. Earthbound and Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Oh wait, sorry, not there's one more. There's one more. The mm-hmm. first uh, if you I don't, not not many of you know not many of us actually know this. Well, I I personally didn't know it. Um they were gonna release a Star Fox 2 for the SNES. Oh wow. But they refused to release it because right around the corner was the next console, which was the N64. Oh. Mm-hmm. So it's I, th- I think it was something like, you know, we want people to buy the N64. Why are we going to release a great IP that's coming out at the end of its life cycle? The console's life cycle, right? So they, yeah. I, I think they just didn't release it. And then they just came up with, um, and they just went, went ahead with the N64 and released a Star Fox game for the N64, which was fucking amazing. So now mm-hmm. what they're doing with the SNES Classic is that they are releasing a never before released version of Star Fox 2. Oh wow. That game that was canceled. They are wow. releasing it for the SNES Classic. That's pretty Typical pretty Nintendo big. That's moves. Big news. That's big news. <laughs> Typical yeah, Nintendo. It's pretty, big. It's pretty big. Find a way to grab your money. <laughs> I mean, I I would let them. I would let them grab my money. With, yeah. With that but yeah, it's of... Nintendo. <laughs> you know, nostalgia is basically the biggest money making scheme right uh, now. Oh yeah. If you think about it. They yeah. brought out the 3310. They brought back Ragnarok in the Philippines. <laughs> now they, now they have this bullshit. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna run out of money by the end of this year. How am I supposed to fucking buy the, the other AAA titles, man? Yeah. And like oh, like oh 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 another one that just came out uh, a few days ago. Uh, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Oh, yeah. The Insane Trilogy. Mm. The PS4. X, I think I don't know if it's an Xbox One. I think it's on PS4, and it's it's, it's already in data splits sold out I'm, baby wow i'm pretty sure it's just sold out ps4 because it's naughty dog it's a naughty dog game yeah, and naughty dog's kind of tied up with sony mm-hmm. yeah but this, yeah but this, this console is gonna be great dude this oh, console is yeah. gonna be great sure. it reminds me of the um the family computer that they released and the fake ones that, that circulate oh yeah yeah, oh, my God, 800 yeah bucks. That, that's pretty good because i got to play some i got to play contra with a friend <laughs> so and i was in a vape shop i was in basically in a vape shop for, <laughs> this and he has he has a tv there with the with the computer so we were i was there for like around four hours just playing contra wow, trying to dude. figure shit out and we kept dying we died like maybe like four or five times before we even before we decided to give up because it was getting a little getting a little salty up in that that's, place that's awesome you know that's awesome yeah, yeah and you're, nice. you're you're totally right though like nostalgia really does uh give you a huge money making pit because uh, look, look at vinyl records nowadays. Like we, we've had a resurgence of vinyl records, and yeah, yeah. So I mean, if they can find a way to make uh, cassette tapes uh, profitable, I'm sure they would. You know, yep. like yeah. <laughs> pencils will. Definitely. You know, the, the price Jesus of pencils Christ. will also go back up uh, if you do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! You know the pencils with the the small lead lead bullets that you just shoot in the back. Yeah, so yeah. When it gets yeah. dull, you take it out and you oh that's gonna make a comeback, baby. <laughs> that's gonna make a huge comeback. It's gonna be like the new fidget spinners. It's gonna be different colors. <laughs> or it's like it's gonna be made out of gold or some shit like that. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Script yeah. script writing is gonna be nostalgic for 
for sure. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, a lot of... Uh, not to delve too far in, but I just want to bring this up. You mentioned script writing. Like, a lot of script writers now, because we're talking about nostalgia as well, a lot of script writers now... Uh, to prevent like online leaks like we've been getting for other scripts you know they've been starting to write things down on pen and pad so Ooh. it's yeah it's that crazy that's the that's the level of secrecy now <laughs> oh wait i kind of i think i made a mistake when i was gonna it's not script writing i was gonna mention it's writing in script oh right <laughs> it's called cursive writing man all right cursive, cursive writing cursive, cursive writing <laughs> so we got some I hollow knight <laughs> yeah, yeah we got so... some hollow knight <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> okay, that was shit. <laughs> okay, so now that's the best segue I have seen in this get in this episode so far. <laughs> so smooth, ladies and gentlemen. So smooth. Uh, all right. So, Mick, <laughs> Mick, you wanted to talk um, about Hollow Knight. Okay, so it's basically the, the game I bought from uh, <clears throat> from the Steam sale. It's actually a pretty mm-hmm. good game. This is gonna be really quick. So it's basically I I don't really understand the story. So they've only been playing for like two hours. So you're basically playing that small guy with the horns. And whenever you kill anything, you build up a, a gauge. You won't see it in the you won't see it there. But it's basically you have five lives. If it, every time you get hit, you lose one life. And then oh, wow. you can regain that. You re, you can regain that by filling up this gauge on on the on your top left of your screen. And it's basically uh, you're just adventuring into one big dungeon with a lot of crazy monsters. And uh, right now, I just got the first skill. The first skill is gonna be is pretty dope. It's like this, um, it's like this mega beam that just shoots out of your body, and oh, does a, like a, a care shit load of damage. It's kind of like that, but it's like a it's like a beam. Well, not really a beam. It's like a how do you, you know when Mega Man charges his uh, his you know his beam his buster, whatever sir. pistol thingy uh, his Buster Mega Buster his Mega Buster when he does the when he does the the charge shot kind of looks like that. And then oh, okay. you lose some of the, you lose some of the souls you caught on inside the, the gauge where you re- reset your life. Uh-huh. So that's basically it. That's the that's the game that I wanted to talk about because you know it's a continuation of our Steam sale. Uh, as we all know, it's going to end in a few days. So oh, yeah. if you guys get the time and if you guys like side-scrolling games, uh, you should definitely get this one. It's pretty cheap. It's like uh, two hundred eighty pesos. Ooh, so that's, sweet. I don't know how to. How do you? Uh, how much is that in dollars? Maybe how seven. Two hundred eighty. Two hundred eighty. Two hundred eighty. Two hundred seventy-nine. Two hundred and seventy-nine pesos. Philippine pesos. Six seven dollars. Five 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 Bring out them wallets. Oh man! I should buy XCOM right. 2 already. Yeah, you <laughs> should. 600 pesos. You should probably, you should probably buy it already. Or I can just buy point? it. Or I, can, or I can just use. Actually, I can just. What I can do is just get, use my brother's account and buy the DLC because he hasn't bought DLC, but he has oh. the game. Yeah, you can use that. Uh, but then you can go to 7-Eleven and purchase all serve cards so you can get Steam cash. Yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> oh. they're the partner now. Steam, oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah. And, Oh, and I get two birds with one stone. I can also buy X Cash for Ragnarok Online Philippines. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I actually want to ask you guys. Like Harold, have you bought anything? Well, Harold, what? Harold, have you bought yes. anything from from the Steam sale? Oh, Mick, thanks for asking, dude. Uh, so yeah. As I mentioned last week, the only thing I've bought so far is a WWE 2K17. Uh, yeah. I'm looking to buy Rocket League if I if I'm tempted enough. You should. But. Uh, just buy it. I already have it. I don't play it that much, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Me and Urim got into it. Right, Oh, Urim? wow. Yeah, we got into it for a while. Mm. Uh, and tempted. then, you know, it's, it's, it's a good game. It's a really nice game. And I understand why Vince loves that game. I know, right? So Vince should be here much. lobbying. Vince should be here yeah. lobbying for the game. <laughs> yeah, he should. He's outside your door, Harold. He's, oh. he's out. <laughs> He's 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 pulling a herald on you. Herald. I know, right? You just waiting for me to go outside. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Uh, for those of you wondering, Vince was supposed to join us tonight, <laughs> but uh, he had something come up last minute. Vince, shout out to oh. you. Uh, wish You're you were watching. Here. Yeah. Hashtag wish you were here, Vince. Yeah. Uh, Diego, man, how about you? Have you, have you got anything for the Yeah. Have you bought anything, Gags? Oh no, dude. Um, I really well, you are gonna buy XCOM. 
I know that. I'll buy so. the DLCs, yes. I will buy the DLCs. Oh, okay. Because, um... Oh. What? Yeah. Oh, no, no, yeah, because, those, uh, right? War, War of the Chosen seems like a really good, um... A really good, exp- a somewhat expansion. Well, actually, it kind of is an expansion of the game. And, like, I love... Exxon is one of my favorite games ever, especially if uh, mm-hmm. what what year was this game released? This was released twenty yeah. last year. Holy shit! As in, I was so happy that at least my Mac, <laughs> my bootcamp Mac, was able to handle it somehow. Oh, that's nice. oh yeah, man! For some and, miraculous know, it, reason. You <laughs> there's no better feeling than uh, controlling your friends, yeah. uh, putting them in armor, and then making sure that they don't die on a battlefield of aliens. Yeah. You know, yeah, you get some sort of investment true. if you make a character that's based on someone you know. <laughs> someone you know, so it's, they mean a lot more to you. The NPCs will mean a lot more to you if you name them exactly. after your friend. Sure. Yeah. Oh, so, wait, by the way, you guys should actually buy this game. Um, it's actually a, a relatively old game, but it's still pretty good. Uh, are you guys into real-time strategy games, RTS? Yes. Two of you. Because uh, right uh, now... Yeah. Yeah. You have Company of Heroes. You guys know Company of Heroes? Oh, no, I don't no. have it. It's a it. it's a re- <laughs> it's a realistic RTS game. Uh, yeah. Well, they already have the the second installment of it. I already have it. I the first installment the- though, first installment is on sale right now for eighty bucks. And here's oh. the here. That's not the best part. The best part is the expansion for it, the Eastern Fronts, is for free. So if you oh, buy wow. the game for eighty bucks, you can get that and the expansion all for eighty bucks. Thank great. God. Oh, that's a great too. deal. I remember playing that, peso, trying it out. I remember trying that game out in high school, dude. It was, no. it was like, okay, it's an RTS game, right? So, and majority yeah. of the RTS games at that time were like Warcraft, um, Starcraft, oh. Battle Battle Conference. So there is kind of a, there is kind of like a conventional way to play RTS. But when I played this, I'm like, where the hell are my peons? <laughs> Where's how do yeah. I base expand? Like it's, it's an RTS. We have to think a lot more. And you yeah. don't just just because you have like it's strategy, how many it's clicks really per strategy. second yeah. or per minute mm-hmm. doesn't mean mm-hmm. that you'll be you'll win because uh, this one yeah. takes a lot more thought process into what you're doing and strategy. Yeah. Just because having the highest tier uh, highest tier um, units um, doesn't mean you'll actually win, but you have yeah. to really strategize because some units yeah. work in better environments than others. Fast forward and flash, ice versa and whatnot. Yeah, no, no, I, I totally get you. This game is really nice though, because I well, one if you really did like zoom in, you see the details of the character. It's really nice. Like these guys, I had I forgot the name of the developers. I'm really sorry, but these guys they know how to make a really good RTS, and I'm surprised that it didn't really catch on with a mm-hmm. lot of people. I mean, it's it's a good casual game. I don't I I'm surprised that there's no esports scene for this game. Because it's really a hard game to play. It's it's from Relic Relic Entertainment. Oh, there we go, Relic yeah. Entertainment. The I'm ones... surprised that there's no esports scene for this. To be honest. Wait, did you say the second one? The second uh, company well, of heroes. Well, the first in, uh, the first company of heroes. Because there's a second installment, which is I think it's the Russian side. So it's the Ru- it's a take on the Russians ah, um, and the communists. in World War Two. Yeah. Yeah. From it's uh... against, it was against the 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 Axis. I just call and, them the and they're releasing I don't want to call an them... expansion. Sorry, they're releasing an expansion. No, no, they already have an expansion. This one, on the other mm-hmm. hand, the first one, I mm-hmm. it came out with an expansion called uh, the Eastern Fronts. And from mm-hmm. my understanding, is that you need to buy the game, but the game is only eighty pesos. So what does that oh, mean? Yeah, you get a full right. game with the with the expansion that adds. I'm not sure if it's one or two factions, oh, all for eighty pesos. So you can oh. play a full. Um, beautiful game for just 80 pesos could you just feel that what can you buy with 80 pesos that's that good maybe Uh, okay fine oh yeah dude like that's that's, okay okay it's not corrected then i don't know fuck or maybe like you can buy two shawmais and a and a sagut gulaman from show my house (laughs) i show my house please please sponsor please sponsor no man (laughs) yeah all right uh, oh yeah, so Bobby in the chat says uh, he installed. Oh, so he installed the game in a PC shop. I assume that, uh, one that's near to them, so his whole group of friends could play. Wow, that must yeah, be a really good game. Oh, you are the That must be a really good game. Yeah, really good. No, our f- they all installed the game because it was really good. I really suck at that game. Like <laughs> as much as as much as I've been playing that game because I bought the second installment. I played nonstop. I still suck. I never won a game. 
Like uh, the only time I won a game was when my friend, his name is Andro, by the way. Uh, uh, he was he was my teammate, and he fucking he fucking brought the whole team. He was wow. telling me, "Don't worry, I'll guard you. Just stay on that spot and just keep building your shit, keep building your men." I'm like, "Okay, yeah, you know, oh. yeah, go." go <laughs> Rim says. <laughs> Rim says if you add 20 bucks, you can buy Shadow of Mordor. Which is true. <laughs> oh, yeah! Which is super I, true. So, it's going for on. dirt cheap You get now. one buck free. Dude, oh, everything is so cheap. Everything. Yep. A lot when of I get my PC, I will go back uh, twice as yes. hard. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, right, uh, you uh, are, no, no, no. By the time you finish it, you should probably be able to reach the winter sale. And the winter sale, a lot more shit's going to be dropping. Oh, that's, that's true. Because by that time, a lot of titles have already been released. The ones for this year, and then they'll all be discounted at least ten or twenty percent off. So you can save a lot of money, but at the that's, same time you can spend all of it. But I want to get me some uh, fractured butthole. Oh, and Destiny Two, yeah, that's right, Destiny Two. Uh, some yeah. fractured butthole. Uh, a fractured butthole. Oh, dude, I gotta play that game. I'm gonna play Stick of Truth again. I'm gonna try the Mage because it's the hardest class to play. Yeah, so I'm gonna do it again and yeah. do it in a hard. That's so true. Like uh, I was talking to, I think it was Diego and, and our friend Jay last year when when it came out. I was telling them, you know, uh, the Stick of Truth was the RPG no one knew they wanted, but once it came yeah. out, you know, like, oh my god, it, it was really no, because I'm up, because I'm up to date with South Park. Like, oh really? I, I watched Eighteen seasons in two weeks. That was the time um, Stick of Truth was just just released, so I just kept binging. Oh my god, so there are a lot. That's a lot of. Yeah, they're really good. They're really good. Like uh, Trey Parker and Matt Stone, they're crazy oh, guys. Dude. They're yeah, crazy, awesome, crazy, crazy talent. Much props to them. If yeah. I if I go on if I go on the geek cast, oh oh wait, I'm not supposed to say that. I mean, quit stalling podcast. I'll <laughs> I'll I'll probably you know I'll probably talk more about that South Park thing because I I Sounds love good, South man. Park. We'd love to have you on. You know, maybe maybe on a yeah, semi regular basis, if not regular. Uh, go go into okay. the chat. Go into the chat. I want to say uh, George. Uh, in the YouTube chat was saying, Western Front is England to France. That's what she said. Uh, oh. Eastern Front is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eastern Front is uh, Eastern Europe. So, uh, see? Yeah. We, we give you facts over here on Quit Stalling. So, uh, thank you, George. Thank you, George. We should yeah, have George, you, on, George on one of our <laughs> shows Thank you very well. much, man. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Urim says AAA games are cheap. It, uh, it's the indie games that are expensive uh, on Steam. Uh, that makes sense, though, because... <laughs> They're, they're cheap as it is, so they're not really yeah. going to drop too much in price when a sale comes around. Yeah. yeah. And he also except, says, except uh, for Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight was, oh, it dropped a lot. It's like 500 I'm bucks. Sure, it went yeah. down to like 50%. Dude. Oh, wait. No, it's like 300 no. 400 bucks. And now it's like 279 So it's like pretty cheap. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. cheap for me. It's kind of yeah. like uh, Rocket League. Whenever it goes on, on discount, it's normally at a 200 range as well. Because... Because uh, what, what Rocket League, uh, where Rocket League gets you is uh, the the the, the in-game purchases. Once once you already have the game, yeah. Wait wait. wait you, you, I think what Rocket League, what the Rocket League does is, uh, I think it gets you with the the whole concept of what was that thing again? The, the, the tagline that you keep saying whenever it's a jinx. <laughs> whenever the jinx. Uh, oh, uh, supersonic acrobatic. Super ro- <laughs> <laughs> supersonic acrobatic rocket-powered battle cars. Yeah, what he said, dude. That's the one that gets us, dude. And the huge ass ball that we have to hit all the time. Yeah, fuck. That's pretty great. Pretty great. Oh man, yeah, it's, it's. I, I'm, I'm. You know, what? I might just get it tonight. I might just get it. You're, you're just, just me. get it. Get it. Stream it. Go with, go with Vince or something, dude. Oh yeah, that's great. That's true. He's gonna be showing you the ropes, and you're gonna see that's his like crazy you, hovering tactics. over your back, backseat driving you. <laughs> yeah, literally. Uh, <laughs> so Orem says in the stick of truth, Mage is the most OP. Uh, George uh, in the YouTube chat says he's a history buff. So thank you, George. Thank you. We, we got to get you on a show sometime. And a Tobster definitely eight 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 says sup sup Tobster. Thank you for joining us. Hope you what enjoy. What up, Toby? Uh, that's Toby, a friend of ours. Hey, what's oh. up, Toby? What's up, man? What's up? Thank yeah. you for joining us. Yeah, just playing, uh, just playing Ragnarok. I'm probably sure. Oh, and uh, and like saying those at the same time. A little better sure. combination, yep, yep, right? Yep. Yeah, no, but, uh, best combination. Game, out game there. bite with a game. Uh, just go, just go, just go. Uh, put us on your background while you, while you, while you play a game. Why not? Why not? All right, yep. uh, we got, yep. we got some <clears throat> more news, guys. Uh, some, some PUBG. Uh, some, Ooh. some player unknown battlegrounds. Here so, we go. Uh, t- take me into this, guys. Here we go. Take me into this. Okay, okay. So this is me. That's not the picture, by the way. The picture is down in the description. But anyway, 
Mr. Player Unknown tweeted uh -huh. out a few days ago these screen caps of the new map that they're developing for PUBG. It's going to be a desert map. It's going to be huge as well, probably. It's one of the two maps that he mentioned that he was going to release later this year or maybe like early next year. Oh, so this wow. is going to be great. This is going to be great because it's 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 a refreshing it's gonna change the game in some way because now people will try to fi it's a new map so people won't know where to go where to where to where to camp where to farm oh. this is gonna be this is gonna be it's gonna be huge for the game yeah it's a, it, it is a game changer you're right yeah the game it's a game changer and and not only that that's the first of the two of this of the two maps that he's uh, planning to release not to mention that uh, on a past episode where Vince was mentioning that there's going to be climbing, vaulting, vaulting out of windows, you know, jumping on the hoods of cars and shit. So it's the game is just cool. it's evolving. Cool. It's evolving at such a, a good pace. Like mm -hmm. every month there's a there's a major there's a major patch where it fixes a lot of the desyncing, a lot of the server issues, a lot of the lags, and it's making the game a lot faster and a lot crisper. So nice. a lot, so that's good because uh, like um, if you watch uh, the streamers on Twitch, uh, a lot of them they really they re they really get mad. Oh they, really? They get super pissed at the at the the sinking. They get super pissed at the the, whole, the mere fact that the, the game is still pretty buggy as fuck. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's, it's a game release, in development. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, still considered what, technical alpha, right? There we it's go. It's a technical, technical alpha, alpha. So what do you expect? Yeah. Yeah, so you, you shouldn't bitch about it. If it's on beta, <laughs> then you can bitch about it. Like, like that's my rule. Don't bitch about anything until it's in beta. If it's a, mm -hmm. if it's buggy as fuck in beta, why the fuck did you release that? It still should be fucking alpha. Okay. Yeah. There. Like yeah, but props to, yeah, total props to Brendan Green. I think is uh, the real name of Player Unknown. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, props to him, man. He's made. You know him and whoever else is on his team. If he if he has that many on his team, you know, great job on making this game. Because from obscurity, they just they just blew up. Yeah, yeah. And to All think right. that you know, in a game in a in a market where H one Z one King of the Kill was mm -hmm. somewhat dominating, uh, somewhat. I'm not saying it was really like the big deal at that time. Uh huh. Uh, for a game like this to come in and just destroy the competition oh yeah that's a good job good job to them yeah props awesome job and you know it, it's like it's always like top two top three uh most played on twitch so yeah you got to be doing something right if that's if that's if yeah. that's the case yeah what about you jago what do you think man <laughs> about what do you PUBG? think dude about PUBG? about yeah when are we playing Diego? when are we playing PUBG? At? When are you buying? When are you buying a copy? Of when me? I sell my Mac, I'm gonna play PUBG. Oh my god! I told you you still played it here in my house. <laughs> I yeah. didn't. I didn't want to play it because I didn't want to get hooked. Oh, I, I made. I made Bob Bobby Australia who's on the chat. I made him play. Hey, he got top six, bro. He got number Ooh, six in no solos, <laughs> dude. And he got like four kills on his first try. He did a good job. Ooh, okay, wow. he did better than me. Cause I I got like zero kills and I died immediately <laughs> from a headshot with a That's Superman it. punch to the head. Oh man, Bobby Superman with a natural punch. talent. Man. Yeah, you get that. Uh, this guy, that guy, you know, Bobby, you should buy a PC and you should play this game. I'm pretty sure you will own. <laughs> pretty I just sure. Wanna, it's as we're speaking about. I just want to say like, he he messaged me on Facebook. He screen cap a picture of his desktop. He has like three tabs open, one for Twitch, one for Facebook, and one playing Ragnarok. <laughs> and, and for Facebook and Twitch, he's listening to us. <laughs> oh, that's... Dude, oh, you are the best, Bob. It's Thank double. you so much. Yeah. Double, baby. Thank oh, but you then so much, Bob. I think that's the golden rule with Ragnarok, never play full screen. Mm. I don't know why Jago does it, though, but... Yeah, never play full screen. Put it on the window. I mean, what like, I put it on... I, I, I play it... Yeah. No, you first, why? you first. <laughs> no, 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 why? Okay, a lot I would like easier. to know. Okay. For for me, it's it's a lot easier because one, this game allows multiple account um, uh, account logins for just a single PC. So if that's the case, you should have it on window mode so that you could like keep one for your um, keep one for what was that again for like a merchant, a seller, for a buyer, mm -hmm. 
and then you keep the other one for your main, and then you keep another one just to fuck around with people, or maybe like well, sell warps or some shit. I don't know. Well, technically, mine is 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 just here. It's a full screen window, so it's not technically. Full oh, screen. so it's like nineteen. So it's a ten eighty p resolution, the big ten eighty p resolution. Yes. It's big. So at least switching and between paths window. isn't such a problem. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, plus no, since I'm, gosh, I'm gonna need all the I'm gonna need all the range I can. True, mm-hmm. true. Because mine, I did it uh, 1366 by 768. Am I right? Oh, is, wow. that, is that the resolution? So I made it that way so that um, I have space to actually like open chat when people message me on Steam or like oh, on nice. Facebook. Mm-hmm. Or, so it's a lot easier. I just drag my mouse to the end of that window and just <laughs> look, sh- look oh, yeah, through shit Because you only have there. one monitor. You only have one monitor. Yeah, because right? I only have one monitor because I'm not yeah. like you guys yet. Not yet. <laughs> you uh, Rim's gonna challenge you to this because he plays on full screen. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna stir shit up. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. He's stirring the pot. He's stirring the, the pot, baby. I'm poking the, the bear. Pot. I'm poking uh, the bear. Poking the okay. bear. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. A quick shout out to our guest uh, two weeks ago, Martin Australia, who's watching. Martin, brother of Bob. Thank you. Thank you, Australia Bob brothers. Thank you. you so much. We, we really appreciate it. Guys, if, if you're watching, like, share. Uh, let your friends know the Game Bite is happening right now. Uh, and like, happen share, every hit the Wednesday. subscribe button. Yeah. yeah, hit the subscribe button. All right, uh, we got, I think we have one more PC news, don't we? Before we Yeah, before well, we it's not up. really PC news. It's related to to a uh, to a game on Ejo console game. On, on mostly all platforms. Bijo Games? It's, uh, it's fine. Bijo Games. It's finally mm-hmm. going to. It's finally going to get its uh, its limelight because it's recently was in the in the silver screen. Okay, fine. <laughs> it was in the silver screen before. It was in the silver. Okay, screen. so Assassin's Creed came out. I think it was. Was it this year or was it last year? I think it was uh, earlier this, this year. year. Earlier this year, mm-hmm. uh, Michael Fassbender starred in Assassin's Creed, where mm-hmm. he played. Uh, I forgot the name of the guy again. Poor God man's Desmond it, but, Miles. Man, yeah, Desmond Miles, the poor the only man. legit and uh, yeah. important character of that series. <laughs> yes, <laughs> amen. And, and um, <laughs> now, the, now uh, the animator of the Castlevania series, Netflix, oh. Mister mm-hmm. Mister Adi Shankar, um, said just announced on Facebook that he's going to he's going to work with Ubisoft to make an animated series of Assassin's Creed. For the love of God, thank you. All right, stuff like this can't be told in in one and a half hours, you know. Uh, yeah. You need you need series length yeah. stuff like uh, we I've I've gone on about this multiple times. I did I did so during dinner just a while ago. Warcraft, <laughs> the movie's biggest mistake was introducing everything at the same time. Counterintuitive. Yeah. Uh, and counterproductive to what they did in the games, you know, you get each race yep. one by one, Avengers style, but you know, en masse, uh, and yep. then you you bring them all together. You know, that, that's that's what that's something they could do for Assassin's Creed the series is you know don't rush Maybe. anything. Yeah, yeah, but I think it's gonna be an original take. So they're going to, ch- it's not gonna be based on any of the games, okay. I think, or the movie. So it's just gonna be oh. it's uh it's gonna be its a, own a, thing. A, it's gonna no, be its own thing. That's, that's Actually, what's yeah. nice about it. I completely agree because that's kind of what they also said. Since you brought up uh, the Warcraft movie, Harold, um, mm-hmm. I, which oh. I fucking loved, even though it was I loved you know, it as well. I loved it though. They loved it. <laughs> but they, what what people are saying they could have done instead of making the story revolve around the first Warcraft game and original lore, maybe they they could have just created the you know still under Blizzard's IP, create new characters, mm-hmm. start like sure. make original original characters. So and have some nods to the main storyline, like cameos by Thrall and whatnot, or whoever's there, just Mm -hmm. to keep, just to show everyone, okay, we're in the same universe, but create different characters for us to get to know, to develop, and to love. So they could do the same thing for us. lesser known characters. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. And like, just like what Marvel, well, that's technically what Marvel's doing (laughs) with their movies. But, Uh, but, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, yeah, go ahead. No, you first, you first. I'll just say, yeah, but so, yeah. To, to yeah and in in relation to what you said with Assassin's Creed yes the exact same thing create use new characters I mean you have the entire history of man to make a different 
person from a, whatever different country, right? True, yeah. true. Heck, they could have. They could even like, you know, there's, there, you know, there are actually speculations that Jose Rizal is an assassin. <laughs> <laughs> Jose Rizal, the first Filipino said, assassin. That's what my sister said. Like they were like there were like these freaking freaking ridiculous theories about like Jose Rizal being an assassin. Like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I can imagine it. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Oh my god. <laughs> it sounds like that. Right? It sounds like that, right? Rest in peace, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm sure he had a better rip. accent than. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no. Because he spoke fluent Spanish. Okay, fine. Let's yeah, give he was him the an educated. Of supposedly, he was an educated person. So, um... <laughs> Yeah. Okay, okay. Rest fine, in fine. peace. Rest in peace, Paul. <laughs> Rest in peace, Poe. Oh my oh. god, we're gonna but, get so much hey, crap for this. But here's the thing. Okay, so I wait, while we're t- while we're in the topic of Warcraft, the movie, okay. Okay, I just want to say I just want to say something. Uh, so uh, with the game, they did do a, a bit of um, adjustments in that in a that, lot. and I think a lot of adjustments. Like for example, when King Lane was mm-hmm. killed by Garona because yeah. he was surrounded by he was surrounded in the battlefield. That didn't really happen it's an over dramatization mm-hmm. of the storyline oh wait let, let me put on my thinking cap oh okay as he's putting on nope. his thinking cap uh Are everyone don't know what alerts I... for this <laughs> oh uh I, I think, okay yeah. okay so it's a, by there the way it's no a hard spoiler cap. Alerts, right? okay. i mean so, spoiler alert okay so in the storyline oh, no. holy so spoiler the sto- alert Ooh, okay <laughs> thank you so right. in in the in the comic the comic and in basic lore, we all know that Garona is mind controlled by Gul'dan. So mm-hmm. basically, uh, she, he was killed in his own, in uh, from my understanding, he was killed, was in Stormwind by Garona when she was like mind controlled again by Gul'dan. That's mm-hmm. that's basically what happened. Yeah. In in the movie, she wasn't mind controlled at all. So it's like basically, you know, King Lane with his, with his um. With his uh, what was that again? His touchy soliloquy thingy or speech, like, no, you have to kill me. You have to kill me in order for you to survive. All that stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah. You have to kill me because the studio can't me. afford me anymore. <laughs> yeah, so I probably have like thirty seconds more before they have to pay me more again for another. <laughs> you know, that, maybe that, maybe that's yeah. I gotta get back to preacher. <laughs> oh yeah, he did, he's doing really well in preacher, by the way. Yeah, he he is. Good, <laughs> show. good show, good show. Yeah. Good show. Okay, so that's my that's that's basically it. But uh, it's a good movie. Mm-hmm. I really think they should have made a trilogy, oh. or like a uh, maybe like a two movie, like the the, the alliance oh. side and then the horde side. Yeah. Hey, because... With the amount of yes. money they earn from China alone, I'm pretty sure they can make two more. <laughs> oh. oh well, w- uh, yeah. yeah. We could spec. We could talk about this on a different show, but uh, from what I hear, thanks to China, they barely made over their budget. Oh, which, okay. Which is rough. It was because, a big budget. Yeah, because you know you consider all marketing and all that that you have to pay yeah. for. How much? How much is left for you know profit? So that's the that's thing. True. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, that's it for movie bite. Uh, thank you guys for uh, for two. <laughs> <laughs> No, but uh, it's it's been a good show, guys. It's it's uh, it's been a great show. Yep. There, uh, do we have anything else to talk about before we wrap up? Hmm, uh, we have anything else? Well, oh, we can just quick quest, uh, a quick fire, just quick fire round. I think we forgot to touch upon this. Yes. Um, no, fifteen, so, twenty-four. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. If you notice the trend, Nintendo's um, releasing um, consoles, uh, classic consoles. Mm-hmm. Right off the bat, have you guys played anything from the N sixty-four? Uh. Mm-hmm. I'm not I don't sure. I think I ever. Uh, I played. Um, I think I played uh, Mario Party on the N64. Or is that the game? Okay. I'm well, so here, lost. Do you think? Are you? Uh, uh, well, that's also the N64. Okay. Do you think they're gonna do the same for the N64 next year? Because mm. it's every year. 2016 was Famicom. This year is SNES. Do you think 2018 could possibly be possibly be N64? Maybe the N64 classic. You got 64. rare games. You got GoldenEye, Perfect Dark, Super Mario 64, Mario Party, oh, Mario Goldeneye. Kart, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, right? Majora's mm-hmm. Mask? Oh, yeah. Zelda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, Zelda. Yeah. It's good. I, I think so. For as long as nostalgia is going to be like a big deal, 
Like, mm-hmm. I mean, the mere fact that Nokia was able to release a 3310 oh, yeah. for, oh. for, and people are into it and they really want to switch to that phone from, from going on to a smartphone like an S7 here and then going back to, to, to a more, you know, to a brick type phone. Ah, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure they will do it. Definitely. Yeah. And I think that, you know, I think that, you know, that's, that's, um, a new scheme that that will last probably maybe until I don't know 2018 maybe 2019 mm-hmm. or maybe when the whole new, new trilogy of the Star Wars movies ends because that's like a nostalgia trip to begin with. Yeah, uh-huh. that's it's taking all the same elements from the original Star Wars and just adding it in to a whole mm-hmm. new to a continuation of the story. Sorry, the, sorry, I was supposed to save this for another podcast, but you know, <laughs> now we, we you know what I mean. It. Yeah. But then nostalgia. I mean, like a good example of nostalgia uh-huh. is the remastered edition of um, the remastered edition of Crash Bandicoot, Ooh. the chronological trilogy that they're going to release for Final Fantasy VII. Because mm-hmm. everyone has been nagging Square Enix, like how <laughs> Stewie nags his nags his mom Lois mom, in that one mom, episode. Mommy, mama, mom. Big Hold demonstration there. over there. Yes. See, so, you know, I'm not surprised if they're going to mm-hmm. release something like this, to be mm-hmm. honest. I hope that if they do, we can use the old game cartridges of the N64. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. damn. Because yeah. I think me and my brother still have them. I just don't know. Like, I don't know oh, if wow. somewhere in some box. I just wow. don't know if, they, if they'll work. <laughs> so that'll be fun to watch. Yeah, <laughs> that'll be, be fun awesome. to do, to try out. If damn. all our old games will actually work. Oh. And all I have here at home are just some broken PS1's fake CDs. Sorry, I didn't have money for real ones, okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we were all fake. So we had those, like, I had the binders Same. for it. Same. I, Same. Yeah, because it's like, it's like Final Fantasy VIII. Oh, four discs. What the fuck? So it's like one binder is like 10 games. Because yeah. they're all like three or four CDs each. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, oh, great times, nostalgia. PS One, re- oh, yeah. hey hey, release a PS One remastered. Sony, mm. listen to me. Release a PS One remastered and release all of the games in PS One again. Are you getting Do you understand me? <laughs> I'm. <laughs> it's like you're slowly moving towards the webcam. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, my friend. <laughs> All we need to know. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> okay. But then, yeah, dude, nostalgia again. Mm-hmm. That's the money. That's where all the money is at right now. Now, now, I, don't, I'll be okay now I don't know what to name the episode. Okay. Like, I, I don't know if I'm going to name it Geraldo the Silverstein. I don't know if I'm going to name it Nostalgia or uh, When I Sell My Mac. Like, <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's Geraldo the Silverstein with his sidekick Nostalgio. <laughs> nostalgio. Nostalgia Libre, that's that's Jago Fights right the evil Mac. Nostalgia. Fights the evil Apple product. Nostalgia. Yeah. Fights the evil Mac. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh. Right, right, yeah. right. Just combine it. Uh, here we Yep, yep. Alright, we're good. Right, last thing, last go, just done, one last done. thing. <laughs> okay. okay. One last <laughs> okay, thing. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just 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 a shit on Xbox. <laughs> oh, here we I'm go okay. again. I'm okay with Nintendo doing it and Sony because they have every ground. But if Microsoft re-releases a freaking Xbox, the original one, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. That's it. Okay, okay. okay because disclaimer. Go- okay. Sorry, disclaimer. Before you continue, uh-huh. disclaimer. Go ahead. Urim, that's his thought. He's the <laughs> one who said that. That's not me. I ain't shitting on Microsoft right now. Okay, wait, that's wait, him. Wait, wait, wait. Not me. Okay. I, I'm sure. shitting on it. Washing my hands. I'm washing <laughs> my hands. Okay. Okay, just for the record. We're, we're on the before, chat, man. Here's my logic. My logic for this is because... Oh, yeah. I lost my breath. Because Xbox <laughs> yeah, is the latest console in the console market. It's the last one. It's the last one came in. First, it was always Sega versus Nintendo. Then it became the Sega, Nintendo, PlayStation. Then Xbox came in. When, when did Xbox come in? Xbox came in... Around the... Uh, I would say around in the 2000s. Do you remember when the Xbox came out? Pepperidge Farm remembers. <laughs> oh, 2001. Came around two- <laughs> came about 2001. Uh, but, uh, I mean, the games that came out by then were, were st- I don't know, they could still kind of be played up to date. Yeah. They're not like the whole 8-bit, 16-bit kind of games yeah. that we we're expecting. We're like the from... super pixelated, super yeah, pixelated not, um, yeah. 3D so graphics. If what, X- what Microsoft can do, don't release... A classic Xbox edition. Just release the games from Xbox because there were a lot of right games now, in that console doing. that 
Yeah, remastered, yeah. yeah. And that's what we're doing. So that's why that's why I, I'm not shitting on it so much. Just I'm just pointing it out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, to be fair, I think the Xbox uh released when the, and the PS2 was the one that was going against it, not the PS1, I think. Okay. Am I okay. right? PS2, yes. If, if memory 2. serves me correctly. Yes, it was play, yeah. Yeah, PlayStation 2. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I can't wait for that new Atari console coming out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, please, no. Bro, bro I, I don't know about you, but I'm waiting for that Pong. For that remastered Pong in HD. Wait, I'm you not see, joking, the lines by are the way. Be super smooth. I'm not the joking, by the way. Atari... Smooth. Yeah. Atari is uh, <laughs> is going back into the hardware game. Oh wow! Yeah, they really are. Yeah, yeah. But I'm also, I, was, I, was, I, I, I was I'm talk about that next show. On Pong. I really like Pong, by the way. As, my kid, <laughs> as a kid, Blake. I really, really love that game. Mick, uh, if I mean, you it like came Pong, out nineteen seventies, okay. If you like Pong, you should go to itch.io and look for uh, Ultra Space Battle Brawl. Uh, it's like Ooh. Pong Ooh. Check now. So check yeah. now. Uh, me, me and Diego had the pleasure of playing it. Uh, over at Casual Connect Asia 2017. Ooh, so, uh, shameless plug, baby! Shameless plug. I'm going to let you guys uh, in yeah. chat also find out the name. I'm, I'm typing it up. So you guys check that out because it's a really awesome game. A game you can play with friends and, you know, just like start swearing and, you know. It's, loved it's, uh, ones. Yeah, with your with loved your ones. your brother that you know? hate so much. Yeah. Or your sister yeah. who you hate so much. I don't know. Yeah, r- rivalries will be made. All right. So, yes. guys, it's it's been a great hour. As it always is with 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 you, Mick, with you, Diego. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love I love with you Vince, with Vince. 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 Hey, Vince, Vince outside your door right Vince. now, bro. Yeah. Uh, so it's time to wrap up. Sadly, uh, everyone's got to go to work tomorrow, so we we got to wrap up. So uh, here we go. I'm gonna raise the volume a little bit. Oh, I didn't change Mick's social media yet. I will do that. I will do that. I will get and on post. it. Yeah, in, in post. Uh, I'll, I'll get on it. I swear to God. So, yeah. uh, Mick, where can the folks <laughs> at home who are listening to either our our live feed, our our YouTube vod, YouTube or, feed, VOD, or, or yeah. our uh, our podcasts on uh, on all all mm-hmm. mediums of podcasting? Uh, where can they find you when you're not on game? <clears throat> okay. Wait. Could we could we transition to my face? Oh, well, thank you for reminding me. <laughs> are you gonna move closer to the screen? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'll bring out the mic. So he will now. Good evening, <laughs> Infidelos. I am Mick. If you want to hear more about my bullshit, you can go to twitter.com slash. Or you can follow me on Twitter. That's <laughs> at the Fury Bot. Or you can go to my Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash the Fury Bot. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Elvira. Uh, Diego, where, where can the folks at home find you when you're not on Game Bite? That is like the most passionate plugin I've ever seen, ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't match that, so I'm just going to do it, basic. All right, so down here under my face, um, check out my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash instadz. Um, I'm, I've been streaming uh, Ragnarok online for the past week and a half, I think, uh, and I don't plan yep. to stop anytime soon, or at least until my buy- I sell the Mac and buy this and buy a PC so I can play more shit. I'm gonna be buy there. <laughs> yes, and Mick is gonna be there when I build my baby. We're gonna have Man, a, we ready? we're gonna have a live stream. Oh, we're gonna have Diego, a live stream. No, no one except for you and your significant other should be there when you build your baby. <laughs> uh, that's that's kind of a private thing, man. Like, no, she can I, come. Jessica can be there. Hey, yeah. I'm gonna edit all of that out. I'm gonna edit all of that Ooh, out. Take it out of context. Why that out? Tesco can be there to build, help me build the PC. It's fine. <laughs> I don't think he yeah. heard it, guys. I don't think he heard it, folks. I don't. All right. I don't so, think he heard else, what Diego? he said. I heard anything? it. Yeah. <laughs> it got weird. It got Diego, a little weird. Anything else? Anything else? Okay. I probably missed out a lot of what you said, so whatever. Anyway. <laughs> um, what else do you guys want? Um, that, no, that's basically that's. I'm mostly active on Twitch. Twitter, Sweet. Instagram, same things, but I'm barely doing anything on that. Facebook, mm-hmm. I don't want people on my Facebook anymore, so no need to go to that. <laughs> I, I need more uh, Insta DZ in my life. So, uh, yes. looking you forward to that. A little thing. bit of me in an instant. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you want to find out more about me, once again, I am Harold Sylvester. You're, uh, well, you can call me Mr. Quitstalin. No, I'm not, I'm not that vain. I'm not that vain. Uh, <laughs> oh, quits- come on. Oh, it's Mr. Quitstalin. Okay. Come on, yeah, Mr. Quitstalin. Uh, <laughs> don't be shy. They're you can find for me. You, Mr. Quitstalin. 
can't do it for you, Mr. Christian. You can find me at Harold Plays on any social media. Uh, for those of you who are listening to the podcast, that's H E R A L D P L A Y S. Harold Plays, not Harold, uh, not Horold, not Herman. It's Harold H E R A L D, like the newspaper. Uh, and if you want to find out more about Quit Stalling, head on over to www.quitstalling.us. All right. Uh, we're, if you're watching us right now, you're probably watching us through our Facebook, our Twitch, or our YouTube. So, uh, facebook.com slash quitstallingus, twitch.tv slash quitstalling, uh, YouTube, bit.ly slash quitstalling, YouTube, uh, uh, Twitter, at quitstallingus, uh, Instagram, at quitstalling. Oh, the music died because it took so long. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're on SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash quitstalling. And of course, if you're listening to the podcast, you could, or if you want to listen to our podcast, it's audio only. Uh, we're on iTunes, we're on Google Play, Stitcher, Pocket Casts, iHeartRadio, uh, and anywhere else that you can find podcasts. Uh, you can find Game Byte, the Quitstalling Geekcast, and of course, the Quitstalling Podcast Mega Feed everywhere. So please, uh, you know, leave us a like, subscribe to any any of these social medias, and uh, leave us a five star review on, on on iTunes because you know it'll help us rise up the charts, rise up the charts, guys. Um, I think that's it. You know, uh, next week we're gonna be doing something a little special for for Game Bite when we go live on Wednesday. So I encourage you guys to stay tuned. We're gonna have a lot of reminders going up for that. So I really encourage you guys. Diego, bring your camera. Diego, bring a camera because I want some. Uh, I want some. I want some glamour shots. Uh, I want some glamour shots of of the crew Money. Thing, <clears throat> on my couch. Yep. On my couch. Uh, so yeah, tune in next week, same bat time, same bat channel. Uh, guys, anything else you want to say before we go? Any shout outs or any final 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 words of wisdom? I need to pee. All right, That's eloquent fun. as ever, Diego. <laughs> eloquent as ever. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. This has been Game by Episode Twenty. Bye, everybody. Bye. Oh, there's no. Why is there no audio? There should be. Boom! Oh. There, there, there. there we go. Ah, oh, there we go.